सो हेलो गाइस टुडे वी विल लर्न अबाउट कार्बेट एंड लर्न हाउ टू मेक अ कार्बेट सिलेंडर एंड वी लर्न आल्सो नो द साइंस अबाउट बिहाइंड इट व्हाई डू एसिटिलीन गैस प्रोड्यूस एंड फाइनली लर्न हाउ कैन इट इज मेड सो वेलकम टू जंबो टेक्निकल कंपनी द डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ थिंग्स आर मेड एंड द थिंग्स आर मेड बाय अमान बी हमजा टुडे आई गोना टेल यू अबाउट कैल्शियम कार्बेट एंड आई विल टेल यू वेरी क्लोजली इन द साइंस बिहाइंड कैल्शियम कार्बोनेट एक्सपेरिमेंट सो दिस इज अ कैल्शियम कार्बेट एज यू नो वी कॉल इन कार्बेट इन अ सिंपल लैंग्वेज इन द कार्बेट फार्मूला इज CaCO2 एंड फ्रॉम दिस कार्बेट मेनी फ्रूट्स आर मेड रोड यू विल फाइंड दिस टाइप ऑफ कार्बेट वेरी इजीली एट अ गैस वेल्डिंग शॉप इफ वी ऐड कार्बेट टू वाटर इट प्रोड्यूस बबल्स एंड इन दैट बबल्स देयर इज अ एसिटिलीन गैस speaking in a very simple language if we add calcium carbonate in a water there is acetylene gas are produced from the inside the nature of acetylene gas is flammable so this is a water water formula is h2o as you know let's experiment it bubbles have started coming as soon as carbonate are added if we set fire in this bubble it quickly fire in this bubbles because acetylene gas present in this bubble this is a reason bubble catch a fire in this video you can see very simple equation which is acetylene gas why it is releasing acetylene gas we will understand the same thing in the detail in this video let's start experiment number 2 now we gonna make it acetylene cylinder and this experiment we will need iv set we will find it very easily at the medical store and we will need a plastic bottle The first part of the IV sets is called spike as you can see in this video there is a cap on spike now we will remove the spike cap which will make it look like it now will the make hole in the lid into which the spike fits we have to fit the spike tight in this bottle cap if the spike is not fitted correctly the gas will come out so you can use the glue gun to attach to the bottle cap to the spike now we'll put a carbon in a water And now we will close the bottle cap very tightly. As you can see in this video, with the dial given in it, we can control the fire more or less. And now our carbonate cylinder is ready. As you can see, it is working, and the pressure of fire coming out of it very high. We can also call this fire as acetylene fire. The IUPAC name of acetylene is ethane. The process is taking place between calcium carbonate and water, which is also heating the plastic bottle. Now we will learn the science behind it, so that you can present it in science fair too. Let me tell you, this is a very logical. If you wanna, so you can skip this part because only science student. can understand it you have seen this equation many videos calcium carbonate is ionic bond but this is ionic bond only for calcium and carbon carbon is a covalent bond between carbon we also find covalent bond in the water structure triple bonds are seen in acetylene gas and covalent bond calcium oxide has an ionic bond let's now we understand this in more detail now we will understand it with the help of electron and orbitals with the help of electron configuration we will see how the molecule is made as you can see electron configuration of a calcium argon complete and for s2 two electron more in the outer orbital of a calcium as you know carbon atom is have a four valency that is carbon needs four electrons so first carbon and carbon are joined by covalent bond due to which a molecule of two carbon is formed but now carbon still has two valency incomplete the two electron of a calcium which are more will come in the last valency of a carbon this is how carbonate is made and we can see the same composition in a water also two electron in the outer orbit of a oxygen are incomplete so two electron of hydrogen will enter this oxygen orbit so this is water is formed when we add calcium carbonate in a water it break into ion form now we will understand acetylene gas the carbon electron configuration is very simple he means helium complete 2s2 2p2 because this process is the product after completion the calcium has disappeared from it only calcium and carbon bonds are broken in this and here comes two atoms of hydrogen instead of a calcium now we gonna talk about calcium oxide which we get in a solid form in the product from after the process oxygen electron configuration is helium complete 2s2 2p2 as you can see two electrons in the outer orbit of oxygen are incomplete so two electrons of calcium that will enter to outer orbit of oxygen we balance the equation now we will understand it with imaginary feeling as you can see in the outer orbit of calcium two electrons are donated to carbon there is ionic bond between calcium and carbon carbon is covalent bond between carbon we see the same in the water molecule in which two hydrogen atoms are joined by covalent bond with oxygen in acetylene gas also two hydrogen atoms are joined by covalent bond with two carbon atoms and from 
has the valency of the two carbons becomes fulfilled. Calcium once again form ionic bond with oxygen. Calcium donate two of its electron to oxygen. So my question is why is acetylene gas produced after the process by water and carbate? So the answer is hydrogen nucleus is much lighter than oxygen. The higher the number of proton in the nucleus of any atom due to which there is a problem forming to molecule because there is a repulsion in the same charge. For example, electron and electron between a repulsion and proton proton between have a repulsion because this is the same charge. If the carbate is left in open air, it processes with air to form carbon dioxide and calcium oxide. As you see in this video, it is a calcium oxide. This is the result of the last cell P. This is the time when every molecule is stable. Let's start experiment number 3. Now we are gonna to make a carbate cannon, which is a very new art. We will make it from a theory of physics and new method. So we will need a beautiful plastic pipe. We have broken this plastic pipe slightly backward. Doing this will reduce the noise during the explosion the plastic pipe. You can explode without breaking the pipe. But there should be open ground for this. And we made hole in the plastic pipe. We will fit lighter in it. We need a card paper to make a cannon bullet. We have used black card paper. And also need a iron nail. Because this nail will give a direction to the bullet. First of all you have to bring this paper in concept. You have to cut this pipe as much as it can fit in the pipe. We have to make it like a bullet of blowgun. The nail is left firmly inside so we are applying very strong glue in it. Because this glue becomes a solid after drying. Why did I making this kind of cannon bullet? I will answer you at the end of this video. Because there is a science theory behind it which I have applied in this video. Now we will close a part of the pipe. We used wood to close the part of the pipe. Now we will break the lighter. And we use of that part of the lighter from which is the spark is produced. There is a red wire in it which you have to bring to the top. And when we will press this bottom button we will see a spark above. Be careful that the red wire and the metal do not touch each other. Make a little difference between metal and wire. We have fitted it into the pipe. Take care while fitting. The larger part is to be inserted into the larger hole. And the smaller wire you will have to make a separate hole. Now we are putting calcium carbide in a pipe. Now we are pouring 3 ml water inside. We have used 3 ml syringe. Now we will fit this bullet inside the pipe. As you can see in this video. Now this carbide cannon is ready. Let's fire it. 1, 2, 3, fire! The explosion is very fast and the bullet is worked. As you can see this bullet has penetrated the cardboard. If you know thermodynamics in a physics then the science behind it will be very easy to understand. In thermodynamics if the ideal gas is heated in closed container the piston is up and down. Like this as you can see in this video. So while making this cannon I considered this bullet a piston. But acetylene is a not ideal gas. This was just an idea I just share with you. This nail penetrates the cardboard because there is a pressure on it. This bullet fire due to high pressure in the rear of the bullet. Because the, there is more pressure on the small area. You must to have to know this equation. P equal to F by A. And thanks for watching this video.